with T quilts and I'm here just to give you a quick long arm quilting tip that I am in the process of doing and it just occurred to me that maybe other long armers may not use this tip some of you probably do so it's not rocket science but I am actually quilting the second and third of my memory quilts and I decided to cut a backing that was twice as long as needed so that I could run them both on the machine at the same time. I'm using a panto and if I loaded each one of them separately, I would have had to realign my lines on my panto. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here, I have finished almost quilting the second quilt. And I have this little space here that I would have to finish off if it was on the long arm by itself. So this little area in here, again, this little area in here needs little line. And I would normally just finish that part off on the long arm, but what I'm going to do is sew the whole entire pattern, and then these lines are going to run into here and start my second quilt. So I don't have to do a whole nother series of start lines, nor did I have to do the ending lines on one. So for two quilts, I am only doing the start line once and the end line once. And so I just wanted you to see how I just came back through here, made a, I locked my channel locks, put a second line straight across, and then I basted my top down on the sides and all the way through the top. And so now I'm just ready to go ahead and continue my panto. But I just thought that I would share that with you. Now that I have stitched the lines, maybe you can see better what I'm talking about. Here I'm showing you with my finger how I actually stitch this row. So I started stitching there and then it goes down into my second quilt that's on my frame, which is actually my third memory quilt. And then the line continues all the way up. And then it takes a little dip to the left and then it goes up into my first quilt top that's on the frame and then comes back down so normally I would have just been stitching just that one little hook piece all the way down my quilt but instead I have quilted almost an entire row on the second quilt that's on the frame instead of just stitching that one and then I would have had to come back and do another start line. So this way I only have one start at the beginning and an end row at the end. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video.